Hi everybody, I'm Angel and I'm a yummy vegan. And I wanted to come back on today and talk about let's play dominoes. Along my vegan journey, I found that it's been a little bit like a game of dominoes in terms of how one aspect of veganism leads to another and then another. It's like a trickle down effect, a domino effect. And what I've learned, for example, let's say for my diet, is that little by little, I started to focus more on raw fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, herbs and spices, and less on the processed food. And so I was able to just, you know, keep adding and subtracting so that I would eventually get closer and trickle down to a cleaner, healthier, more raw diet. And along my vegan journey, in terms of using the scenario of dominoes, I learned little by little how much cruelty and suffering there is in other aspects of our lifestyle, not just our diet. And so I started to avoid products that involve cruelty and suffering and death of our animals, such such as products for skincare, beauty care, clothing, furnishings, home decor, and really tried to focus on vegan products. And so I would really encourage anyone out there who is not able to eliminate animals in their diet and lifestyle in one fell swoop and overnight to really take it step by step and look at each aspect of your lifestyle and slowly but surely eliminate the cruelty and suffering of our beautiful human and non-human animals in these animal factory farms, slaughterhouses, fashion houses, home decor houses, even in automobiles. There's so much involved in terms of animal cruelty in some of the finishings and furnishings, shall we say, even in automobiles, office furnishings, home furnishings, etc., etc. So I would super love to hear your thoughts and your experience with playing dominoes on your vegan journey and your life's journey in general. And I hope you're doing great. And until we see each other again, take good care. And bon appétit. And bon voyage.